took these tires into school today and get the new bearings put in. That's them right there. But I somehow must have been when I was pressing this tire down. I bent it somehow. Whatever. I'll just hit it with a hammer or something. This is some pretty crappy welds right there. Should fix those up on it. But yeah, I just I had it on the press and I must have uh, must have not done something or I think it was when I didn't have it supported or something like that and yeah it's vented a bit so whatever I think it's the top part here actually yeah this right here just needs to be banged in That one's been good. I also welded these washers from the lawn tractor tires on. I don't have washers on the lawn tractor tires, but whatever. I should make it. And I put a washer on this side, just a little tack on that bolt, because I don't think this tire's coming off for a while. If I needed to, I could just break it off easily. It's just the tiniest tack. So, yeah. I'm going to try it now and see how it works. Hopefully, works good. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else I need, so I'll try to set up my camera. I want to get a video of driving it. The cell phone went amazing, so it's quite hard to balance on anything. Close enough. something. I'm really tall, so shouldn't need to do that. That one bent too. Speed bent. There's some kill switch turns. Kill switch on. I put the pole starter so it's facing the other way. Joke.
It's much better down at the sea tires. <laughs> I can break on it somehow, but I don't feel like it. So, those are my lawn tractor tires, and they are some cracked, deep cracked, too. I'm surprised it doesn't leak. That one does, but it takes a few days. So. Yeah. And I went when I was at the school to use the press. I pulled the clutch drum off of this one. I was going to put it on this one. We're gonna put the bearings from this one, which is a different size clutch chain. So, this is the one on it. This is the one that doesn't have bearings, and I need the chain that size. So, I just pulled it off, and then the class started, so I'm gonna have to go back and try to find a way to. Take that out and hopefully get the bearings out too. I don't know how well it's going to work. I might just have to go buy another sprocket, but it won't be fun because they're 20 something bucks. I don't know how I'd mount it. I'd have to take this whole back axle apart. <laughs> I really don't want to. You got these little brakes from my scooter too. I was hoping I could. It's quite small and wimpy, but I'm not gonna drive this go kart much, so it's sort of fit over that brake pad that just need to wear in a bit. The hydraulic one on it doesn't work, so it's gonna have to be bolted on something like that. Actually be bolted on something like that. I don't know how well that's gonna work. You know, I'll have to cut it and everything. Whatever. Fits on there. That fits on there too. Because the brakes for these go karts, the ones that this one has are here. Just checking how much those were, and they're sixty bucks. Just break themselves, but it's 30 bucks or something. It's a lot cheap. Well, I finally got the kill switch hooked up properly. Just had to solder it a bit. You can't see that. Just heat it up with my lighter and stuck some solder to it. And, oh, that melted. <laughs> Spring from yesterday. I soldered. Yeah, I probably can't see that, that little bead. Get a good connection, that's all it counts. Not even hooked on. <laughs> Whatever. So all it fails, just pull that wire out and stick another line. So, yeah. I was you know, thinking about maybe mounting this ammo box. Which, you know, this is a smaller one that I got for a carrying case or something. Right there. And I could open it up and use with a headrest too. Or right there. It's not in my way in any way. Just to bolt it down. I don't know, no fun place for it. I gotta get that one back together. So yeah, thanks for watching.